Yo, what's up? My name is Hamilton. You're watching Hamilton the Crypto. Let's jump into the market. Before we start, though, if you could give a little like, that'd be fantastic. You can see my new place behind me. It's looking very good. I am very happy with it. Let's jump in and talk about Bitcoin because that's what really matters here, right? So, unfortunately, guys, the market is literally behaving like a grumpy child, okay? Having a tantrum, just whipping around, smashing into support, smashing through things. What is this? What? Stop. Somebody stop. This is disgusting, okay? Um, if we're going to go back for our last video, we're going to say, hey, yeah, we had this wedge structure. We had this measure move for the most recent wave, right? That's very, very cool. I like to see that, and I like to see that coming down. Unfortunately, the actual route down here was uh, pretty disgusting, and honestly, I wasn't happy with it at all, and I didn't enter the positions because of that, right? This is just just Barty. It's a Bart Simpson mess right now. You can see that. Uh, this is not healthy price action, and that's not something that I'm too interested in trading, okay? Uh, if we are looking at this on a momentum point of view here, we can actually see that uh, we did get a, a pretty decent amount of volume coming in um, for these more recent moves. But again, if we're actually looking at this and trying to get this measure move towards the ground here at uh, basically 37k, uh, we did get down to 37.7, but not quite there in terms of the measure move completion. So do we actually get down and complete that? I think it's quite plausible, quite possible. We've got the four hour here as well, looking very nice, looking quite tasty as a support. Um, Again, I'm not really interested in trading this. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, we do have a new pattern here, but again, uh, it's a pattern basically made out of traps <laughs> to, to both ways. So I'm not too happy with this either, um, unless it does actually break towards the upside, right? So if we break towards the upside here, one thing we can say recently is upside trades have been a bit better, okay? But not still not perfect, still not what we want to see in a bull market. And that's why I always say, if we're in this kind of non-momentum sideways market that we're in right now, now, it makes sense to just be running a grid strategy and this volatility we don't really have to predict too much we just let it go in our range and make money right that's 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 what's good and if we get out of the range we then stop our grid we don't lose any money because we've cashed out um if it's towards the upside anyway if it's towards the downside it's basically a dca right we just wait for that to come back up and then we're all good to go. So uh with that and that would I'd only say that with Bitcoin as well just because uh Bitcoin does uh, usually end end up back towards the upside, right? If you're talking about random altcoins, yeah, they can go to zero, but this is an upward trending asset. A grid is fantastic for that kind of um, momentum strategy, right? So if we are looking at this, um, more, more often than not, if we do get over this, um, 43k zone. We've got trend line here. We've also got a pivot here as well. Uh, this would be a fantastic trade to be looking out for. So we're looking from around 43 all the way up to where this volume weighted ATR band would be around the 44s, 44.5. Um, it depends on the volume we get, right? If there's more volume, it'll be up here. Uh, if there's less volume, it'll be down uh, because it is volume weighted ATR bands, right? So that's cool. And then the top side of that measurement would be to 45.7. Do I think we get up there? If we if we break towards the upside, yes. Um, if we don't, then more of this dirty, disgusting sideways mess that we hate, okay? Uh, I think we're quite likely to get a, a pretty sustained bounce here around these kind of high 36s, as we've just said, with this volumated ATR band towards the downside. And if you want some proof of, of that happening, I mean, it's pretty much every time we hit it. I mean, look at this thing. Filthy. Dirty pumperinos every time we hit it, right? So yes, um, that that I would expect to continue. Uh, if it doesn't, and it's a potential swan event, we come down, we retest it, we break the low, we find a short, we bang that momentum towards the downside, right? Uh, I know Crown was talking about potential 20% move very, very soon here based on his um, very good indicators, might I add. Uh, so that's good. And if that does come into fruition, great. <laughs> I didn't actually watch the content long enough to, to know why he thinks that. But uh, if Crown thinks something, it's usually usually something that, that that comes into fruition, um, assuming all of the, the right um, tick boxes are hit, right? So um, if we are looking at this in terms of momentum as well, we can see there is a trend line here, which is quite cool. If we can get above there, uh, could initiate a move towards the upside as well in terms of momentum. That's cool. Um, with this heading towards the upside now, I mean, I, normally I would say yes, sideways makes sense, con continued sideways. Um, 
Again, the volume coming down and sideways as well uh, would be just a Bitcoin coiling up here, everything coming back towards the middle before a momentous move, right? Uh, so with this pointing up, yes, I think that's a plausible scenario to be expecting. But uh, when we're actually looking at price, <laughs> we're, we're basically just falling off a cliff. I don't, I don't like this. It's, <laughs> again, this is the worst price action we've seen in a while. So uh, what I'm going to say here is, and I don't actually say this that much nowadays. I'm always eyeing up trades and saying what I think is, is a possible edge. But right now, guys, it is so unpredictable that I, I would just say, chill out, okay? Take a week off, have some fun with it. Uh, there is actually a move here towards the downside if we go towards the higher time frames. And before we do get to these higher time frames, I do just want to say, if you could like the video, massively helps me out. And also, if you can comment... I mean, you don't have to comment, but if you if you do want to comment, comment Hamilton. Stop telling me to comment, and I will award one of you guys uh, a month on the Wad Machine. There's also a post in my community tab on my channel uh, where if you just comment, you get one week on the Wad Machine as well. And that's just because I moved in today, feeling a bit generous. I'm giving everyone that comments on that post. Uh, one week on the WAD machine, which is fantastic, right? That's this indicator with the volume weighted ATR bands. Anyway, carrying on here, we can see this pattern coming through. This actually is a pretty good measure move towards the downside. If we do want to come down here, uh, let's just take a look at this uh, in terms of percentage. I was really hoping this would be 20%, but it's not. <laughs> just kind of backing up what Crown says. Like if, if if what Crown says comes through with 20% move towards the downside, I'm not saying uh, I'm not saying it's, it's 30K, but that would be one side of it. If it's towards the upside, uh, then let's just take a look at this. I mean, I, I like the upside a lot more, put it that way. Uh, the upside makes a lot more sense to me, back up to a pivot. Uh, we tested this, we got rejected, we can test it again and get through. Um, that, that makes a lot more sense to me, okay? But um, in terms of the measure move right now and the more recent edge, again, short term, don't touch it, it's dirt, it's disgusting, get away from me, I wanted to stop, please. But the daily, if we lose this low, if we lose this low, we said on the daily, Hey, if we lose this trap zone, we close the daily below uh, 38.5, I believe we said, uh, and then we come back up, we retest, then we break that low uh, below whatever low this is, so 37.7, then yes, there is actually a short trade here that makes sense. Uh, we've got basically this pivot here, which is quite cool. Um, and that's going to be, again, exactly where this is as well. So yeah, if we if we lose um, if we lose 37.7, we'll call it, right, on a four hour. So we close a four hour below 37.7. I will be looking for a, for a potential trade down to 36. But again, caution in the wind here. I'm not here to, to take a lot of trades. And again, uh, 36.60 is going to be a bit of a barrier as well. So uh, it's, it's, the market is very weird right now. I will actually have a massive take profit around this 36.6 area. And then maybe I'll put some more back in if we do get that retest and dump down, right? This is just me thinking off the bat here, but this is this is probably uh, the safest route to go just from me analyzing it now, right? So uh, that's cool. If we do want to head up here, really the area we want to stay above is, is not just this trend line at 42k but um this this 40 uh, this 39.5 area that we've basically been oscillating around forever okay so if we can get above that fantastic stuff uh, and that's going to be it from me here guys for this video so if you have enjoyed it again drop a little likey on there i will see you in the next one and uh thanks for all the kind messages i'm very settled here i'm loving it chester will be here in a few well in a week uh, and then we will get our commentating trading podcasts, all of that good stuff coming through uh, for you guys. You can see I've got a lot of unpacking to do. You want to see? I never do this, but yeah, a lot of unpacking to do here. A very nice place. I'm liking it. I'm liking it here. Uh, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Check out my store if you want to see a bit more of that. I can't get this back on, so I'm actually just going to end the video here. But uh, yeah, have a fantastic day. Enjoy your weekend. Remember, trading the weekend is very, very dangerous. So be careful out there in the streets. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye from Hamilton of Crypto. I don't know if I said Bitcoin beats this video, but Hamilton of Crypto. Okay, goodbye.